Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to write two-digit numbers in expanded form. Now, when we write a number in expanded form, we show the value of each digit. Expanded form really helps our overall number sense and understanding of numbers. So let's jump into number one, where we have the number 26. We want to expand that number out to show the value of each digit. Let's take a look at the place value chart to the right of the number, right here. So 26, we have two tens, a two in the tens place, and six ones, a six in the ones place. So two groups of 10 is what that two in the tens place represents. And we have place value blocks right here to show that. So that means two groups of 10. So what does the value of two groups of 10 have? Well, 20, two groups of 10 is 20. So the value of that two is 20. So we'll do 20 plus the value of the six. Well, the six is in the ones place, and that's represented right here by six place value blocks, six ones. So the value of that six is six. So the expanded form would be 20 plus six. When we put a number into expanded form, we always start with the greatest valued digit. That means the digit furthest to the left. So we started with the two here that had a value of 20, which we wrote right here. And then we went to the six, we went to the right. And that six has a value of six because it's in the ones place. It represents six ones and the two represents two tens, which is 20. Let's try another one. Number two, we have 43. So we have four groups of 10, which has a value of 40. So we have four uh, groups of 10 there represented with the place value blocks, which would be 40. And then we have three ones. So to recap, four tens, which has a value of 40, plus three ones, which has a value of three. So that's our expanded form. We represented the value of the four, which is 40, and the value of the three, which is three. On to number three, where we have 79. So again, we always start with the greatest valued digit, or the digit furthest to the left. In the case of number three, it's this seven. Now that seven does not have a value of seven because it's in the tens place. It represents seven groups of 10, which is 70. Plus, we have a nine in the ones place. That nine has a value of nine. It represents nine ones. So 70 plus nine. And lastly, number four, we have 81. So we'll start with the eight which is in the tens place, so it has a value of 80, plus a one in the ones place. And that one has a value of one because it's in the ones place. So 80 plus one. So there you have it. There's how you put two digit numbers in expanded form. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.